Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get a free epic supply drop in Call of Duty World War II. It's very, very simple, and surprisingly, not too many people are aware of this, but if you head over to the Quartermaster and then go to the contracts, there is a contract that will let you earn a free epic supply drop by playing a total of 25 games, and the fastest way that I found to do this is actually by playing the game mode you see in the gameplay, War because every time you either play on offense or defense, it's gonna count as one entire game. So think of it like this. Instead of playing one game, you're actually playing two. So pretty much you need a total of 12 games of war, which will get you to 24 wins, or 24 games played, and then you can play either one, um, one more half of war or any other game mode of your choosing. Now in my supply jump, I got an epic piece of clothing for the airborne division. Luckily nothing was a duplicate because that would have made me very, very sad to see, but yes, Still, to be honest, I have mixed feelings about the supply job bribes or whatever we should call them in this game because I feel that they aren't very rewarding, to be honest. And when we do get a bundle or the chance to earn a special loot box, I feel that this game doesn't have anything worth buying. Like, there hasn't been any good deals yet, and I love how Infinity Ward came out with some really good hacks and bundles back in Infinite Warfare, and all those hacks and bundles definitely wore worth the price of keys or salvage it took to spend so hopefully sledgehammer games does something like infinity war did back with infinite warfare and also i feel that the supply job bundles should be bought with armory credits not just cod points but I mean, at the very end of the day, this is a business, and the likelihood of that happening is kind of slim. Now, guys, if you remember a few months back, there was a leak that came out regarding multiple supply drops, and the epic supply drop was in that package of loot boxes, and there were a total of three, and the first one being, of course, the epic supply drop, the second being a legendary, and finally, the third being a weapon supply drop. Now, of course, the legendary will guarantee you an epic legendary item, but the weapon supply drop is a little bit odd. We don't don't really know what it's going to do but based off its name it could possibly give you a weapon variant or maybe it will give you like an actual weapon say like the Gewehr or maybe the Sten again we don't really know what it's going to give us but it could also give us a melee weapon like the ice pick for example but if it does in fact mean that there are separate weapons we can unlock from this loot box then obviously there will be more standalone weapons coming which is kind of what I'm leaning more towards because a while back there were a bunch of more weapons that got leaked out and I wonder if there were even more weapons and other items in the recent 1.08 update that came out a couple days ago because the file size for that update was almost 2 gigs but the only major thing the update did was get rid of the winter siege event so maybe in that update there is a lot more content on the way but it's not ready to go public just yet. But yeah, guys, also, again, if you didn't know, there is another way you can get an epic supply job by uh, being a Twitch Prime or Amazon Prime member. I did do an opening of that drop, so if you guys want to go watch that, go check it out down below. But don't forget to leave a like if you guys did enjoy the video and comment down below your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Till next time, I'll see you later.